A new bill aiming to get rid of vacant homes and businesses in Prince George's County. There are thousands of them. And as Fox 5's Josh Rosenthal explains tonight in Temple Hills, some of the boarded up buildings are a little more notable than others. This strip club is causing problems, not because of the clientele or what's happening inside, but because it's vacant and has been for a while. We really have an issue with vacant properties here in Prince George's County. Council member Crystal Oriada said officials estimate there are at least 4,500 vacant properties in Prince George's County. This club, which used to be called Legends, is one of them in Temple Hills. When you're thinking about trying to bring restaurants and entertainment into a community and you have these blighted properties that there's no plans in place for them to be rehabbed or renovated, it can make it harder to attract those businesses that we want to see. So the council member put forward a bill which would A, create a registry of vacant buildings and who owns them, and B, it would allow the county to fine the owners, at least initially, up to $1,000 per day. A lot of people just don't live here. They don't live in the county. They try not to have someone on record. This vacant strip club is in your district and you have no idea who owns it. No. The goal is that it's so cost prohibited to allow these properties to stay vacant and abandoned that it pushes them to either develop the property, get in new tenants, or sell the property. Among people we yeah. talked to Monday night, some supported the idea. Anything is better than them to be vacant. Others said the vacant homes and businesses aren't a major issue for them. What we really need is better rent control in Prince George's County. You'd prefer to see other issues addressed? Yes. M yes, sir. Back out at the former Gentleman's Club, you can see this is a pretty heavily trafficked area with the Naylor Road Metro right there across the street. One last thing, this legislation is expected to get a public hearing sometime soon. The council member said likely sometime in the next couple of weeks. Guys,